We use uh, a, a very detailed process in ADL that starts at the vehicle requirements where the customer gives us exactly what they want from a particular vehicle, what attributes, what uh, performance requirements they need. And, uh, and then we start cascading those requirements into more detailed components, into subsystems, um, and, and lower level components. And finally, we arrive at the software level where we define the architecture based on those requirements and the components, uh, the, the software functions and components that go into those um, to, to create the, the software layout and the architecture. In, in this particular vehicle, we are responsible for uh, interfacing with uh, the, the rest of the vehicle once we take out the, the original powertrain. Um, so we, we integrate our controller into the, the body uh, CAN network, into the powertrain, uh, the remain, remainder of the powertrain uh, CAN network, and the, uh, the, the information uh, network. So we uh, take all the information from those systems and uh, basically perform the, or the functions of the original powertrain controller, um, where we summarize the information and send it to our customer's controller since they have the, uh, the responsibility for, for the powertrain and, uh, uh, and transmission. Uh, we had to replace some CAN messages in different networks, uh, so we take all the information from the customer powertrain and the remainder vehicle networks and the driver information uh, to replace the data in those networks and make the rest of the vehicle uh, behave as if, if it was uh, an original vehicle and its powertrain was there uh, without any faults. So once we capture our requirements and we understand what we need to do, we use a rapid prototyping system uh, to implement our software. Uh, the reason why in this project we use a rapid prototyping system is because uh, it's just a, a one-off uh, demo vehicle and, uh, and we need to move quickly. We, we need to do things very, very rapidly in order to, um, to achieve the, the very short timeline that the customer required with the functionality that the, the customer required. And that gives us the option to change things in, in, uh, in a rapid manner if we find if we, uh, things that are not working as they intended while, while we're testing. Uh, or we discover new requirements um, instead of having to go through a, through a whole, whole uh, software integration process. Uh, the functionality that we implemented on, on this uh, controller uh, is primarily gatewaying all the CAN messages, all the networks, and, uh, and making the, the vehicle happy. Um, and we integrated uh, also uh, the vehicle state manager, uh, which indicates whether the vehicle is driving or is in auxiliary power mode or charging uh, or in shutdown mode. Uh, we, we also implemented uh, the thermal control system, which manages uh, the, the complex thermal system uh, in, in, in this truck. Um, we also implemented the, the driver interface, where we read the, the Prindle position and the pedal positions. Uh, and we wrap that information into a, a very uh, tight safety concept, where uh, we need to make sure that the information is accurate, all the sensors are working as, as they are supposed to, and uh, we have the required redundancies to, create our, uh, to meet our uh, safety criteria. We require the vehicle state manager to be able to coordinate all the different systems in the vehicle uh, at any given time. Um, so for example, the, the functions of charging or driving require different systems to be active at, at different times, and the state manager is responsible to coordinate all, all of that. We removed the original elements that uh, provided the heating and cooling for the HVAC system and uh, therefore we need to, needed to replace those uh, and their management with our, our system. Since we're using an AVL design battery management system, uh, we needed to make sure that it integrates with the, uh, uh, with the onboard charger that we uh, got from our supplier. Um, and therefore we created all that functionality in our controller. Because of the scope of this project, uh, and the compressed timeline that we developed this vehicle in. We needed to move very quickly and uh, create a lot of functionality in a very rapid uh, manner. And, and that combination of uh, a strict controls process with the creativity and thinking outside of the box is what makes projects like this uh, so enjoyable, enjoyable and, uh, and so much fun to work on.